angles. When two straight lines meet at a point, they form an angle. In the figure, OA and OB are called the arms of the angle AOB. The point at which the arms meet, that is O, is called the vertex of the angle. The amount of turning from one arm to the other is called the measure of the angle. An angle is measured in degrees, minutes and seconds. If a ray rotates about the starting initial position in anticlockwise direction as shown here, notice that it comes back to its original position after one complete revolution. Then we say that it has rotated through 360 degrees, which implies that one complete rotation is divided into 360 equal parts. Each part is one degree. One degree is divided into 60 equal parts and each part measures one minute. One minute is again divided into 60 equal parts and each part measures one second. Kinds of angles. The different kinds of angles are listed here. Acute angle. An angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. For example, using a protractor, measure 40 degrees as shown here and mark a point. Join OB, angle AOB equals 40 degrees, which is less than 90 degrees and hence it is an acute angle. Right angle. An angle whose measure is 90 degrees is called a right angle. For example, using a protractor measure 90 degrees as shown here and mark a point. Join OB. Angle AOB is right angle since it is equal to 90 degrees. Obtuse angle. An angle whose measure is more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. For example, using a protractor measure 135 degrees as shown here and mark a point. Join OB. Angle AOB is obtuse angle since it is equal to 135 degrees, which is more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. Straight angle. An angle whose measure is 180 degrees is called a straight angle. Note, the two right angles make a straight angle. Reflex angle. An angle whose measure is more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees is called a reflex angle. For example, using a protractor measure 240 degrees as shown here and mark a point. Join OB. Angle AOB is reflex angle since it is equal to 240 degrees which is more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. Complete angle. An angle whose measure is 360 degrees is called a complete angle. Equal angles. Two angles are said to be equal if they have the same measure. In the figure, both the angles are equal to 40 degrees and hence they are equal angles.
adjacent angles two angles having a common vertex and a common arm such that the other arms of these angles are on opposite sides of the common arm are called adjacent angles in the figure o is the common vertex angle aob and angle boc are adjacent angles bo is the common arm complementary angles if the sum of the two angles is one right angle that is 90 degrees they are called complementary angles in the figure angle aoc plus angle cob is equal to 90 degrees angle aoc is the complement of angle cob supplementary angles two angles are said to be supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180 degrees for example angles measuring 130 degrees and 50 degrees are supplementary angles two supplementary angles are called the supplement of each other vertically opposite angles when two straight lines intersect each other at a point the pairs of opposite angles so formed are called vertically opposite angles note that the vertically opposite angles are always equal from the figure angle 4 equals angle 2 and angle 1 equals angle 3 bisector of an angle if a ray or a straight line passing through the vertex of an angle divides the angle into two angles of equal measurement then that line is known as the bisector of that angle from the figure it is clear that the angle boc equals angle coa and the ray oc is the bisector of the angle aob